And a perfect second out in forests. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Fools under Steric have built their own prisons. It's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not deign to pin them down. Oh, you would, would you? What about your bird? It's not built. I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She pinched a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. We can't be having that. Is this really no Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw him pinch it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? She hides down the sewers, sir. Of course it's sewers. Sewers.
he's on his way. And tell him, too, that I've grown tired of these working conditions. Wasn't Starrick who sent me? Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards.
Maxwell Roth sends his regards. Pleasant surprise. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. <gasps> You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. Why the Alhambra? I look forward to it. <laughs> Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. Ah, the part. The dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away. Easy, girl. Easy. I'll smash your face in. I hope your prayers are in order. You want a piece of me? Of this did Roth send you the villain you have your villains mixed up mr. Raffles the man you work for is the real villain here
something is going on. My most fragrant raffles. How very good to see you again. Got a well, Roth. It's into the back with you, then. Who is this Lewis that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't it? Came to me a few years past. <laughs> He's very solemn. But always so polite. And he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swineborn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack and you cut Starrick's ties to the police force. Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Steady on. Yeah! Yeah! Doing fine, girl. Who's a good boss? You are. Yeah. All these bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland, Yard. Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do.
Huh? What? Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do.
This carriage, dear boy. Slow down! That's the way. Excellent work. Do come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us.
This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Hop in. Where are we going? One of Starrick's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. A man like Starrick builds a world around his own desires. That's a girl. In you. you must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. One. That looks like trouble over there. There. Set.
All rigged up. Perfect! Let's put our plan into action. Stand back! Ready! Wait! Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starrick uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production I line. I not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon, you will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light him up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth. No, we're not. Gift, sir, from Mr. Roth. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation.
certainly come into its own this season. Eliza, is that really you? Someone don't feel right about this. Masks only. Let us enter the theater for tonight's performance. Everyone ready? Then let's proceed. I am delighted. and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints might be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. Nothing but a dirty thief. I'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. We British 
sure a hardy bunch. Let's put that hardiness to the test. Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. It's over there. Thanks. What a thrill! Do not fret, my friends. It's all part of the show. Please stay with us as we prepare for the next turn. Oh my! Are your principles drifting, dear? intensifies the second time. The hunt now a search for want rather than need. suitably flat-headed gentleman for this one. <laughs> you, you laugh, ladies and gentlemen, but I assure you that is the case. I have no doubt that you could hazard a guess as to what this one concerns, my friend. Our courageous participant has an even Never mind about me, my father's day. Londoners had pride, then I tell you. Standing a few feet away, our performer expertly throws his knife. Apple slicing it in two. Will he or won't he? What are you up to? Nothing good, I wager. If he's not wrath, leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? 
Like eating pork when expecting venison. For this trick, ladies and gentlemen, we have found a most courageous volunteer. Must have a good reason for bothering me. With our courageous volunteer in the box, the celebrated illusionist will proceed to saw him in half. Watch as our esteemed guest emerges unharmed. Our skilled illusionist, Sabertooth Jane, is performing this famous trick. She is said to have studied at the feet of the mysterious Torini himself. The saw Miss Jane is used this evening is imported from the ancient city of Codumano, celebrated for manufacturing the finest steel in the world. Behold the grace with which Jane wields her saw. A diamond in the rough, I dare say. Another one out of circulation. Give it out, you filthy car! I can take him now! Joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on, toast them. <laughs> Your move, Jacob, my dear. Burn, burn, burn. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Join me for the return. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> 
Harry. What a night. The stuff of legends. Why did you do it? All of it. What? Snap a baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I'd do anything. Why not? I'll never make it out alive. Damn this place from hell to Hackney. bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupinay has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. Prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otto Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. 
We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The piece of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you call father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right. He never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more for old time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. of Evie, treating me like a child. Oh! <laughs> 
behind you. On, girl. Let's go. Yeah! 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 <laughs> 